Pope St. Leo I was born to a Roman aristocratic family from Tuscany in 400 AD. But what certified him to be the first pontiff to hold the title, the Great? His feast day is November 10th. Now he became a well-known deacon in the church by 431, respected widely for his spirituality, intelligence, and his ability to reconcile people both secular and religious. Now while Leo was visiting Gaul at the request of Emperor Valentinian III, to bring peace among the civil military leaders. A conclave was held, and Leo was elected unanimously as the next pope in 440, a side of wide esteem. Now, as one of the best administrative popes of the early church, he fought tirelessly to preserve the unity of the church, the heritage of faith, and the safety of the people. Leo the Great fought continuously against various heresies, including Pelagianism, which denied the need for grace, Manichaeanism, which rejected the goodness of the body, he also resolved serious errors regarding the relationship between Jesus' humanity and his divinity, and wrote skillfully how Christ possessed both, which could not be separated. Now, the pontiff led Rome's defense against Attila the Hun barbarian's invasion upon Italy in 452 by taking on the role of peacemaker. Actually, behind me, over his grave, is a bas relief of Attila uh, being threatened by Peter and Paul with swords coming from heaven, ready to take him out. Also, Leo the focused heavily on the pastoral care of his people, fostering charitable work throughout Rome for refugees and for those affected by famine and poverty. He was also renowned for his profound spiritual sermons that could penetrate the hearts of all his listeners. Now, Leo the Great died on November 10, 461, the day of his feast. Nearly 100 sermons and 150 letters have been preserved. One of them has special place in the Office of Readings for Christmas. Now it was in 1754 that Benedict XIV proclaimed Leo I Doctor of the Church. Now aside from his many accomplishments, he helped the whole church enter more fully into the person of Jesus Christ and the heart of the gospel message. So may we all follow the example of St. Leo the Great to address every error, confront every enemy, and assist all in need of help. St. Leo the Great, pray for us. We appreciate you viewing our Manly Minutes. Thank you for whatever donation you can offer to make our content possible. Go to themensacademy.org backslash donate. Thank you.